let me explain it again to you the connections okay i think uh, it may confuse you so we are starting from this point x so i'll mark this point as x here and then i am drawing this part of the conductor in a straight line like this okay this part of the conductor i've drawn like this okay from this point which is this one this point there is a wire which is going like this and it is getting connected with another resistance there are two resistances which are connected r1 and r2 okay r1 is 3 ohm r2 is 6 ohm so what i am doing is i am starting from here the current is going from here from this point this is the point this is the dot here okay and then there is a wire like this so i have drawn this wire like this to this point okay from here now this 6 ohm resistance is connected so i'll draw a 6 ohm resistance here 6 ohm resistance are connected okay and then uh, from here one wire is going towards y let me mark it here by the another wire which is one wire is going towards y this one and the another wire is connecting to the next resistance which is a 3 ohm resistance 3 ohm resistance is connected here which actually helps in completing the circuit because this is a 3 ohm resistance like this okay let me mark it from here there is a 3 ohm resistance from here there is a 6 ohm resistance like this understood so if i look at it here if i mark the current with pink arrow so current is coming here at this point the current is getting divided between the 6 ohm resistance and the 3 ohm resistance here it is getting going to the 3 ohm here it is going to the 6 ohm so whenever there is a wire joint and the current is dividing between the devices we call this as a parallel circuit it is a parallel circuit so the answer for the first part is that it is a parallel circuit okay now you have to find in second part the average uh, value of the ratio v, v upon i v by i you know is r so you are being asked to find out the combined resistance of these two average resistance or combined resistance of these two so what is happening x and y are connected in this diagram here so let us uh, connect them in parallel so they are connected 6 ohm is connected like this and 3 ohm is connected like this here okay so 6 ohm and 3 ohm so 1 by rp will be equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 okay so the lcm that we get is 6 1 plus 2 1 by rp is equal to 3 by 6 so if i do the reciprocal rp will be equal to 6 by 3 so rp in this case will be equal to 2 ohm so the average of vi v upon i will be equal to 2 ohm this is our answer for the second part understood